Hello and welcome to the Real Band 2010.5 New Features video tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at some of the exciting new features in Real Band 2010.5 and at the same time check out some of the great new styles in Real Track sets 83 through 101. Right now we're listening to one of the demos from Real Track set 91, Smooth Jazz Sax Soloing. This is our slow ballad soprano sax soloist, being backed up by electric guitar from Real Track set 93 and electric piano, bass, and drums from previously released Real Track sets. I'm going to use this song to demonstrate some of our great new conductor window features. The conductor window provides live playback control with the ability to loop and navigate through your song. As the song is playing, many single key hotkeys are now available to control the playback and looping of the song. This is ideal for live performance or jam sessions where you want full control of playback. The loops happen seamlessly so are suitable for a dance floor situation. In addition, you can control real band from a standard MIDI keyboard, pressing MIDI keys that correspond to each of the functions. There are over 80 conductor functions in all. We'll start from scratch with the conductor window by first entering some information about the song. This is a relatively short song, only two choruses long, so I'll enter first chorus at bar 1 and last chorus at bar 33. In this area, you have 10 slots for entering various other sections of the song, with an area for the section name. I'm going to enter all of the sections of the song here. Bar 1, A1. Bar 9, B1. Bar 17, A2. Bar 25, B2. Etc. And the ending of the song occurs at bar 65. Now, say we're approaching the end of the song, but I'd like to keep it going for a while longer. First, I can choose in this area when I'd like the song to jump to a different section. To keep the form of the song as consistent as possible, I prefer changes to be made at part markers, so I've set that as the default. I'll use the default here. So, if I press the 1 button, it doesn't do anything until the song gets to the part marker, but then it automatically goes back to bar 1. And you can jump around in your song by pressing any of these buttons to switch to different sections or choruses. You can loop certain areas here or move around using these go back or go ahead buttons. Now, say someone has just given me the signal that the music needs to end right away. Rather than just ending abruptly by pressing stop, I can switch the default to next bar, and press the button to bring us to the ending. and the song is brought to an immediate conclusion. The next feature we're going to show you is the Tempo Mapping for MIDI Tracks feature. This allows you to align a MIDI performance that was not recorded to a click track such that it displays properly in notation and follows the bar lines correctly but still sounds exactly the same as how you recorded it. To demonstrate, I've loaded a segment of a Chopin Nocturne. Let's give it a quick listen.
Now, as you can tell, this was performed by an actual person who was not playing to a click track, but rather playing in a rubato manner. This means that many of the beats are stretched out, deliberately played out of time to give it an elastic quality. The tempo of the MIDI file itself is 120 beats per minute, which doesn't relate to the actual music at all, and it certainly doesn't appear correctly in notation. With the new tempo mapping feature, we can have the music appear to line up with the bar lines without changing the flowing nature of the rhythm. The piano part, when played, will still sound exactly the same. What we need to do is have a kind of click track on an adjacent track, which will indicate where the quarter notes should be placed in the piece. All of the notes on this track need to be middle C. There are two approaches you can take for this. The first is to record that click track yourself. I'll try that here by selecting track 2 and recording using an external keyboard. Now we select Track, Align Music to Click Track. The track to align is track 1. The click track is track 2. We want to insert tempo changes. And we want to do the whole song. And now if I play it, we can see that it's now properly lined up to the beats in notation and yet it hasn't lost its rubato rhythm due to the tempo changes that we can see throughout playback. Now, if we want even greater accuracy, we can use another method. Instead of recording a click track, we can use the track itself as a click track. I'll revert back to our unaltered file. Now first I'll duplicate the track and place it on track 2. I'll open a piano roll window and select all of the notes by dragging on the piano keyboard. Now if I control click on various notes, I can deselect them. So I'll listen through and deselect all the notes that land on beats. If I press delete, I remove all the notes except the single notes that land on the beat. In the event list, it's easy to change all of the notes to middle C or C5. We can then use the same feature, this time getting an even more accurate result. Now we'll use this track to demonstrate some other new features. Now this is a MIDI track, and what we're using to generate the sounds is the new Coyote Wavetable DXI synth. During the RealBand 2010.5 installation, you have the option of installing the Coyote Wavetable DXI synth, which runs on 32-bit as well as all the latest 64-bit Windows operating systems. DXI synths have many advantages over non-DXI MIDI drivers, such as the GS Wavetable, including better sync with audio and MIDI, better sound quality, more drag and drop features, and direct rendering to wave. Another new feature is that in notation mode, you can now force accidentals to make the notation appear the way you want it to appear. 
I'll make a new file to demonstrate. Say, for example, you're in the key of C, but you want to enter the notes to an A-flat minor chord. I'll click on those notes on the on-screen piano keyboard. A-flat, B, and E-flat. But technically, that middle note is not supposed to be a B, but rather a C-flat. It's the same note, it sounds the same, but the correct way to spell out the chord is to call it C-flat. If I right-click on that B, I can force a flat, and it now appears correctly as C-flat. A great new feature in RealBand 2010.5 is the ability to combine real track styles of vastly different tempos together using half or double time. This means they don't need to be stretched, but can rather be treated as half or double the tempo without stretching at all. RealBand is certainly able to stretch the real track styles, but if you try and stretch them to that extent, either in half or double, the quality deteriorates quite a bit. To demonstrate, I'm going to set the tempo of my song to 100, and I'll enter some simple, funky chord changes. C minor for four bars, D half diminished, G7, back to C minor 7, I'll type K8 to repeat those eight bars, and I'll enter a B section, F minor 7, A7, D half diminished, G7, repeat those four with K4. Now here's a new feature. If I click on bar one, then shift click on bar eight, it selects the entire region, something that didn't occur in previous versions of RealBand. I can then drag this to bar 25 to copy it. I'm now going to put together my band. I'll start off with some cool, funky swing 16th drums. And let's listen to a little bit of that. And now I'll add some smooth jazz guitar. And as you can hear, it follows the chord changes that I entered. And now I'd like to try something a bit different. With Real Track Set 90, we released a whole series of jazz B3 organ styles, playing straight ahead swing eighths jazz. I'll press the band audition button to hear a sample of our bebop organ at 190 beats per minute. Now since this is swing eighth based and the song we've been building up is swing sixteenths at around half the tempo, the chances are good that this style will work well with those if it's treated as double time. So I can select the style and here pick double time. That means it will treat this style as if it were half the tempo or at 95 beats per minute. A stretch then from 95 up to the tempo of our song at 100 is no problem at all for real band to handle with virtually no sound degradation. And we now have a cool funky fusion of styles that were recorded with completely different intentions but work together beautifully. These features and many more await you with Real Band 2010.5.